Hey guys, Emily here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are here for another book review. Um, and this book is The Firekeeper's Daughter by Angeli, Angeli Bully. I think I just asked Alexa and she told me, but then I forgot. So, hold on one sec because I'm going to give credit where credit's due. Okay, so the author's name is Angeline Bully. Say that 10 times fast. I got it. I got it now. Um, but yeah, anyway, so this is the Firekeeper's, or Firekeeper's Daughter. Not the, I, I always want to do that, you know. Um, but anyway, this book, this book was honestly a roller coaster. Um, it is about a young girl named Donis Fontaine who is a biracial um, indigenous person, a young lady. Um, her father um, was part of a tribe and, and he was indigenous and her mother was white. Um, so she she always felt like she never like fit in on both sides, right? So I was like, oh, this book is, you know, gonna be teaching us about things and, you know, whatever, because indigenous people have a lot of of teachings and a lot of things that they believe in, which I find really interesting. Um, I really, really do. And, and I was like, oh, this is really interesting, right? But then all of a sudden it flips to be a thriller, which I had, like, I knew that this book was a YA book because based on the cover, well, not based on the cover, but the cover, you could tell that this book was from Reese Witherspoon's book club, which is another reason why I waited like a super long time for it, because anytime she picks a book, it immediately wipes out from every library, all that stuff. So all it said was YA on it, right? And then I'm like, why is it turning into a thriller? Well, so basically, uh, Donna's, uh, she's really, she's really, um, talented and gifted when it comes to, uh, like plants and, you know, stuff like that. And, um, you know, their, their properties when it comes to healing and stuff. And they, uh, her family has had a lot of crappy stuff happen to them. Um, her, uncle passed away and then her grandma had a stroke and um and then a little later in the book uh her best friend passes away and so then she's roped into um this and, and she's roped into helping with this investigation um for uh substances I can't say what it is on YouTube because I don't like that word but it's really really bad and she just like discovers all these things I don't even know it, it was a twist and turn of a book for sure um but she I don't even I don't even honestly I don't even know how to describe it because I finished it a couple hours ago and I'm still like confused and then I went I normally don't do this but then I went to the reviews on Goodreads and everybody else was kind of confused too I don't know I, to, I don't even know to me it almost felt kind of like I don't, like just I don't know she's First of all, she's only 18, so I don't know how she gets caught up in this anyway. Um, but let, let's just skip that part. Let's just go to the ending, because the ending was real nice. So her, her best friend passes away from, um, from something to do with these substances. It's not directly related to it, but it's something to do with it. And so 
she enters this like mourning period, right? And at the end of the book, they do this like powwow thing, which is real nice because she's with her nieces and they do um, they do some dances that are, uh, you know, traditional and stuff. And then she decides, well, I'm going to go study um, in Hawaii. Oh, and this was the other thing I completely forgot. So they're Canadian. I, b I believe they're Canadian because they, cause they mention Canadian currency a lot, like, you know, whatever. Um, but they also mention M Michigan a lot. So I'm pretty sure that, I don't know, there's somewhere between Michigan, because she talks about the University of Michigan a lot, and then she also talks about Canada because they mentioned Tim Hortons and all that stuff. And she played hockey, but she injured her shoulder. It was, it's a whole thing. I don't, again, this book is a roller coaster. And so she, she decides that she's going to go, um, at the end of all that, she, she decides that she's going to go to the University of Hawaii and study to be a natural medicine practitioner, which is really interesting. Um, but to wrap this up, all in all, I gave it a three stars because I liked some parts of it. But again, with the investigation into the substances and stuff, I just didn't think that it fit. I don't, I didn't think that we needed all of that to tell the story about someone who is there for their family and helps their family and um, is really good at something and is really passionate about something. So anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.